Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema as well as oncology and women's health. In this video, I'm gonna go through a rebounding or mini tramp routine that someone can follow along with for exercise. I created another video on rebounding and rebounding specifically for the lymphatic system and I will place a link for that up above and down below. In the other video, I go through basic movements one by one and show different technique with that. So that might be a really good place to start with. But in this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through a whole routine that someone can follow along with for the next level of exercise. Before starting this routine or any exercise in general, you always wanna make sure that you're checking with your doctor, that you're cleared for safety, and then you can check with your therapist to see if this might be a good option for you. As I mentioned in the other video, I've done some research to find what are the best rebounders or mini tramps for different price ranges, also talking to some of my patients to find what they like to use, and I'll place those links down below for where you can find those online. The mini trampoline that I'm using does have the handle for safety. So if you have any balance issues or safety issues, I would definitely recommend getting one with the handle. And you always wanna make sure that you're getting an adult size trampoline, not a child size, because there is a weight restriction. Because the rebounder makes noise and I'm gonna be breathing a little bit heavier, I'm going to just do a voiceover of the exercises and give out cues as I go. That way you should be able to hear me a little bit easier. The other thing to remember is during this exercise that you can always modify and scale everything down. I will try my best to give those cues and modifications during, but always change up to find something else that works for you. You can go back to the video and try some of those other movements that I talked about and use those instead in this one. All movements will be done in 30 second intervals with 20 seconds recovery at a light jog or jump in between. Start number one with small bounces to warm up building up to larger jumps as desired. You can hang on for balance or let go for more of a challenge. And recover. Next, you're gonna work into crossover jumps. Switching your jumps forward and back with each in between. You can add your arm movements for a jumping jack crossover jump. Or if you need to modify, hold on for balance. and recover. Next is the mini squat jump with two to four jumps in between. As you jump out, drop into a small squat, and as your feet come together, Try to fight to stay low for more of a challenge. If that's too challenging, you can stand upright as your feet come together. Hold on as you need to for balance, but modify to stay low in the squat position as long as you possibly can. And recover. Toy soldiers are next. You'll kick out your heels, tapping and alternating. Add arm movements for a whole body movement, starting with small elbow movements or working into full arm movements. As always, you can hold on for balance.
and recover. Next is twisted side jumps. Double bounce at each for control. Make sure you're using your obliques and your core muscles to help you twist. and recover. The next movement is high knees or running. Start slow and pick up your speed for a challenge. Try to keep yourself moving for the entire 30 seconds. And recover. Now we're gonna go back and repeat all of those movements again, but I want you to try to challenge yourself with harder modifications. So we're gonna go back to the jumps, but try to work on higher and larger jumps, increasing your power to get more height. You can use various arm movements for more of a workout. and recover. We're gonna go back to the crossover jumps. You can add your arms back in for that jumping jack. and recover. We're going back to the mini squat jumps. Try to stay low the entire time this round and try to take less bounces in between to speed up the movement. And recover. Back to toy soldiers, tapping your heel out in front of you, alternating. Increase your arm movement and your speed for more of a challenge.
and recover. Okay, twisted side jumps. Try to take out the extra bounce in between for more of a challenge this round. It's going to speed it up and going to speed up and increase your heart rate. Make sure that you're using your oblique and core muscles. and recover. All right, last interval is running or high knees again. Really try for running it out with high knees as fast as you possibly can. and recover. Take a few minutes and let yourself cool down. That was 10 minutes of exercise. If you're looking for more duration, try repeating this workout two times for four total rounds of these movements. So I hope you enjoyed that exercise routine. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button. I'll see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.